Welcome in to the DNVR Rapids post game show presented by Vodka TV. I'm your host, Mitchell Carroll, aka Merchel, and I am joined by the superest of super producers, the one, the only, El Yasolina Yahir G. Vasquez, my guy. What up, peeps? This so is I'm sure hour three of talking. By the yeah, way. <laughs> he just talked for two hours over on the other on the on the live stream, uh, our first live stream, and it was awesome. So shout out to everybody that made it. It was all the usual suspects, of course. Um, but you know, definitely check that out. We're gonna try and do that for road games. Um, so that's the plan going forward. This game was probably the worst game we could have asked for to start a watch along with. Uh, the Rapids fall six nothing in Philadelphia. The fourth game that philly has won by six goals this season um i believe they had six, six goal scores gazdog in the ninth gazdog again on a penalty in the 20th carranza in the 30th on a penalty gazdog with the hattie in the 83rd burke in the 87th and real in stoppage time six nothing tied for the worst loss in rapids history and well there's not much else to say besides that. Um, <laughs> I mean, what, 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 what else do you say? The Rapids, they, they punted on this game with the lineup from the start. Um, and then once once our guy, Gustavo Vallecia, got his second yellow card around the 28th minute-ish, I think, he was sent off. And the Rapids, uh, the game was over for them at that point. Everything is on Nashville now. Nashville on Wednesday. They travel a couple states over. I don't know. How far is Tennessee from Philly? I have no idea. Um, but it's not that far of a road trip. But Wednesday now, the season is on the line. You need to go get, at minimum, you need one point in this game. If you lose this game, if you get no points and you give Nashville three, it's over. Season's over. You're not making the playoffs. It's for the young guys. Yeah. it's it's. See, the thing is, we all knew this was going to be a tough game to, mm-hmm. to begin with. Mm-hmm. Like, nobody was expecting to win. Except if you're like foolish and like we're really hyped on the Rapids just because you're a Rapids fan, which is fine, man. I'm the same way. Like I'm the, I do that too. But I'm also a little realistic that I knew it wasn't going to be a for sure thing. Yeah. But like the thing is now there's a morale issue. Like how much does this affect the guy psyche? How much do they feel this team is ready to win now? Which is what I'm afraid about. You know, to me that's interesting because for me, you have Rubio who is now sat. For 180 minutes, right? He has his eyes on setting the single season mark for the Rapids. He wants to go to the playoffs. He listens to everything, everything, right? Like he's sitting up. What up, Rubio? Yo, my guy Diego shouts. Um, he uh he like he is sitting there stewing. He is I don't think we are ever going to see a more focused and intentional Diego Rubio than we see on Wednesday. Period. Um, but we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. We'll get into that. We'll let's do that after the ad read. Let's let's get what we can out of this game first. Um, <laughs> what we can. Number one, I think the the unavoidable topic, and it's a topic I don't usually go into, um, but it's got to be the referee, right? A- absolutely has to be one of the most one sided refereeing jobs I have ever seen in a match regardless of league level anything it was it was insane shout out b-ray my guy um everything was a whistle or a card on the rapids and the same play the other way wasn't called at all play wasn't even stopped pretty much all night um philly philly was very physical and was allowed to be and the rapids were very physical and were not allowed to be um they were given two penalties Philly was um, very soft penalties, uh, including one where he literally was not even touched, literally not touched. I went to VAR say, and yeah. confirmed one of that is the worst. What is the point of having VAR? What is the point? The How do you is, watch that? The thing is with the first one, like Markinich is at fault for that one. 100%. No, 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 that was that a, penalty. a penalty. That's a penalty. It was a soft one because like, yeah, he barely touched him in the, Union player just dropped to the ground. But the second one was blatantly he fell by himself. And then they said, Oh, that's a penalty. Went to VAR, checked it, saw that he fell by himself, and they're like, Oh, that's still a penalty. What are you talking about? Which is 
the stupidest thing that we ever saw. You can literally see me and Mitchell in disbelief on the watch along. I cannot. I literally. So, like, in the game thread, I go, okay, penalty. Floodgates are open. This one should get turned over by VAR. Of course not. Didn't. Um, VAR looked at it and confirmed a penalty. They This was absolutely... I don't know, you know, I don't know. I, I'm not going to find some agenda in it, right? Like, what's the agenda? The Philly's great. Um, oh, absolutely, Joseph, for sure. Oh, yeah. But I We're think you, can't, the for the you can't not talk about this ref from this game. It was, it, it is 100% going to be a talking point because it was bad, 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 bad. Um, no, but you're right. Yeah, like the whole thing with the ref is just, I said it was in the watch log. This game, they were going to lose. I thought they were going to lose. Even if I wanted to be optimistic, I'm like, it feels like a, uh, an uphill climb. Yep. But the refs made it Mount Everest on <laughs> on flip-flops. That's what the refs made it. They, they made it almost an impossible game for them to win. They let aggression go all the way on the Union side. But as soon as the Rapids did exactly what Union did, they're like, nope, I'm sorry, that's a yellow. Or that's an extreme, that's a foul immediately. And it just makes no sense. Gus got his first yellow was exactly what Union did right before. Um, yep. I think and his second Gus was the his, same too. His second yeah. was the same thing too, where there was a, a very physical foul the other way that the play didn't even stop. But whatever, you can't control the ref. That's one of those things you can't control. Well, we should be able to. I, this is yeah. my thing, dude. I'm more pissed because the ref should be held accountable. I'm not saying the refs gave the Rapids a loss, but they, they made the game super un, 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 entertaining immediately yeah so that's the thing like immediately they gave the refs like super they immediately gave the game like a really bad quality yeah just sucked yeah are you rewatching? don't rewatch it. no i'm not rewatching. watching that, I'm, I'm actually so. watching uh nick Axa versus Stigrid. Oh, okay yeah. um i'm studying look, players what are you talking no about? no you're right you're right <laughs> the uh the one-way traffic joseph though that's the point that that we have to get to. Um, shout out Patrick Lyons, our guy, Rockies men. Um, follow DNBR. Rockies follow Patrick. Um, the hunt for sixty nine is on. Um, but yeah, Joseph, man, you're right. One way traffic, and it literally started with the first goal. It started with one nothing. Thirteenth minute, Philly goes up on a play where Wilson and uh, 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 Gus were just kind of watching. Just let them let them get a run. It was an easy goal. It was unchallenged from the from the from the time the ball was was sent up, and um, that pretty much summed up the game. When it was three nothing um, in the first half, Lawless had a great run, or not Lawless, sorry, Zardes had a fantastic run, got free, and I think this this sums up the hustle and the effort in which was a one way one way matchup. Um, Nicholson just jogged behind. There was a wide open, basically the entire right half of the attacking third. There was not a soul, and he could have been wide open for a layoff and a goal. And he hasn't had a goal yet. He hasn't had an assist yet. And he he basically was like, "Nah, I'm just, I'm not, I'm just, uh, I'm gonna do me right here." And that was, and that was, summed up the whole yeah. game. There was there was a few guys that had the dog tonight. I think you know you got to give it up. Wait, give me a minute, man. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that Nicholson thing was super disappointing. And not because of the outcome, because that could have been blocked. It wasn't a guaranteed goal. But the no. effort was just, like, so obviously not. But you're not going to get a lot of looks like that without defenders around. Exactly. You know what I mean? It, just, it sucks yeah. so much because, like, he had the chance to show, like, hey, we're down 2-0 or 3-0 or whatever it was at the point. And, like, we, well, we're, I'm still going to fight no matter what. And he just like, uh, no, I'm not putting full energy in this. I'm not going to do this the whole way. So, that was super disappointing. Like I hated that so much. Yeah. yeah, it was tough, man. Um I don't know. Oh yeah, Lewis would have made the run for sure, man. Lewis, Lewis would have made the run. Mikey was making all the runs, man. Yeah, let's um, shout out some let's do some positive. Yeah, stuff, dude. Like, I don't know. You guys negative. watched the game. It was six nothing. Yeah. There's not like if you if you don't know what went wrong, don't bother watching and just yeah. get ready for Wednesday. But some of the positives um, were like literally like <laughs> let's the talk positives. Of yeah, energy, go ahead, you like, go first. The amount, of, the amount of energy that was given by the players. Like uh, Preso, Mikey, Sardis. I even thought. Um, I thought Lawless when Beta. he came on was pretty okay. I can't give Lawless a big yeah. nod because Lawless always comes with the energy. Yeah, and he only played like what thirty minutes. Yeah, Warner. Warner was fantastic. Yeah, Warner was still there. Was like I'll give him this. Even when the even when they were down, most of the squad went out there and gave energy. 
gave it their yeah. all and they were yeah. trying to get that goal back. A goal. So I do yeah. appreciate that from them. Like I thought even um Yarby, Yarby could have like stopped really playing. And this game could have easily been 10 0. But Yarby was still trying to make saves. Yarby was trying his hardest. So I yeah. will give Yarby a lot of credit for that. Yeah. Too. Warner was uh Warner was great in the spot start. Um nice little run of games from him, honestly. Um, I thought he was the best player on the field in the Houston game, and I thought he was was definitely a positive tonight. If you can find him, um, we're. I mean, you could tell they were that they're putting all their eggs in the Nashville basket from the start, from the eleven, right? No Lewis, no Diego, um, Lawless on the bench to preserve yellow yellow card accumulation. Lucas on the bench, Acosta, um, on the Acosta out with yellow card accumulation. Like you just knew, you knew when they put it at when they knew, yeah. you knew when they went five back. You know, you knew when Felipe wasn't starting. You like, you know, there was all these signs that it was like, okay, we're going in on Nashville. But yeah, for sure. But that being said, you have to put in a professional effort, and that was that was a. There were some guys cashing checks out there. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, that's <laughs> what we disagree. A couple of the guys were cashing checks. Like, if I have to say who was cashing checks, man. It would. I can only really say one name, man, and that was. I felt like it was only Nicholson, really. If Nicholson. Honest, I thought Wilson was not great outside of that header attempt he had. I thought he was pretty bad, actually. But I feel like Wilson like didn't play enough to get like the no no effort. Like he sure. was bad, but it, it didn't seem like he wasn't giving an sure. effort. Sure. That's my thing. Like fair enough, you can be bad while giving an effort. Like yeah. I think he did. Lawless usually like Lawless's bad games usually gives a pretty good effort. Like, yeah. It's never because of effort, but yeah. Nicholson was the one guy that felt was an effort issue. Yeah, man. And it sucks because – because and, and B-Ray says it right here in the comments, man. You, you put all your eggs in the Nashville basket and you come away with zero, you're kind of – I mean, it's – you know what I mean? Like, like, it's like rough. You are saying that we are going into Nashville and we are going to get at least a point. Like you are saying – like this – that is what you said with this game. Doesn't matter if it was 6 0, 3 0, 4 0. I mean, it was 6 0. It was 3 0 into the 80th minute. Um, all the three next three scored in the 10 minutes there or less. I think it was about eight minutes. Um, but you're saying, like, hey, this is like, it's Nashville now. Like, you are, like, they are setting themselves up for either we were right. Look at this. We came in. We took care of business when we needed to in this six point possible swing game. <laughs> or it's like, well, Good thing you punted in Philly for us to come in and get blown out in Nashville, right? Like they're sending them. Like this is yeah. like this is big time. Call your shot mode here, like big, big, big time. Yeah, they're called, they're like, and that's the issue. Like how everybody's saying they're they're putting all their eggs on the basket of Nashville, but Nashville's good, man. Like I yeah, feel like I Nashville in that like little area of the mid of the of the West yeah. is like one of the heavy talented. I think players. they're the best of that group. I don't on know paper. if they're the best because Seattle I think is I'm, like yeah. champions. Sure, sure, I think sure, like sure, it's sure, up, sure. they're up there for sure. Yeah, like see, like they have so much talent on that team, man. And it's a Gary Smith yeah. team, which it's usually Smith, like, perform really well. It's like yeah, and they're gonna if they, they like, get up, they're gonna park the bus, and it's gonna be really hard to score. It's gonna be really hard to that, score. It's like it's a Gary Smith team. You have to worry about Honey Mukhtar. You still got Zimmerman on that CJ back Sapong. line. CJ Sapong, and then you still like you're bad on the road. And now you're done. You're down two defenders, maybe one, depending what happens. You know, like so. Like, what do you do? Like, what's the key to this at this point? I just, I don't think. And this is why you asked this in the in the watch along earlier. You asked, are you more mad about this game, or what was the game? Oh, the Seattle game. Seattle game, right? But I said this game. You know why I said that this game? Because this team is not good enough to just say, "Ah, we'll get points later." They're not good. When have they done? Like, what? What is the sample size to point to to say we're good enough to get points later? I hate punting this game from the start. Not that you were going to beat Philly, but to just say I'm giving it up is just bonkers to me, man. Bonkers, 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 bonkers. You're it drunk. Is, yeah, it is. It's insane. And I get. And I get, I get, I think you're right. If you look at what it is right now as a team, this game sucks a lot more. It's I, terrible. I, I was, part of me was just thinking like in a microcosm, like, yeah. And what the game, like, how the game felt itself. Like, that game just pissed me off because that game, the whole game felt like an effort issue. Yeah. Like, that's what pissed me off the most about this game. 
mm -hmm. about that game. But you're right. This one just felt like you needed this one more than anything else, and you just decided to punt on it. It's like the dumbest thing that you could do. Once you're trying – if you're really serious about a playoff ball, like – we keep hearing from everybody in that organization, yep. which I do believe they are serious. I'm not trying to question their what they believe, but like you're believing you're serious about a playoff spot and you it feels like you punt on this game. What's the point? Like you need these games. You said it on the watch along, like you're in you're in the playoffs, baby. Like playoffs starts now for you because you let go of so many results. We were talking about it. The two dynamo games, the two the dynamo Seattle games game. are alone. The yeah, two dynamo like, games alone. That's Honestly, what, four more points. I think could that's have four more points, and you're in the playoffs. And then, if you would have gotten the Seattle game where you were up 10 men in the second half, and you were up one nothing points. with three minutes into the game, exactly like that's another two points. You're you're just in perfect position. You don't squander that town hall say opportunity, you're you're golden. Like, and it's just and yeah, like and SKC on the road, B Ray's right about that one, one too. Dude, that yep. team was injured, and you just let it go in your own volition. It's just like. How that, do you that draw it? to that draw to to uh, SLC at home? That should that should have been two one. That should have been another one. So here, let's say once. So no, that's perfect, is, man. That's perfect. Look, that's what card. It's we knew that was difficult. We put it behind us. We have to win against Nashville. There's nothing less than three points. Yeah, but we're Look, all saying like you're calling your shot, and, then, and they're only. That's the thing. That's the thing. Is 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 I guarantee the message across the board, right? Fraser, Zardis, anybody that talks to media, right? Um, like right, like right now, they're all saying Nashville. So we're we'll talk about that game, but real quick before we talk about that game, let's talk about the homies over to Vodka TV. They are the goat of Colorado sports television. That is the greatest of all television. Uh, Without a doubt, if you watch sports in Colorado and you are a fan of Colorado teams, you need a Vodka TV. Uh, they feature amped up sports coverage for Colorado fans featuring altitude. Let's like, no matter what, you get to watch Fleming and, and Cello down the stretch, right? Yeah. Um, AT&T Sportsnet, get your PIDs on. Or your PIDs on. Your Rockies on. Our guy Patrick Lyons here, like... If you're a Rockies man and you're on the hunt for 69, which pretty much I think everyone at DNVR went in on over 68 and a half. So uh, <laughs> like you got to watch AT, you got to get AT&T Sportsnet and they have it. You also get NFL Network. You get the most regional content for the lowest price for sports in Colorado on crystal clear HD while using less bandwidth. And you get to enjoy over 60 entertainment channels, including news, movies, and more. Turn your home into the ultimate game viewing zone. You can even stream your teams from your phone, laptop, or tablet when you're on the go. You can also add on a discounted Sling TV bundle to get ESPN and more. Ivaca is only $25 a month plus a $5 receiver fee. Right now, Colorado sports fans get $10 off. $10 off per month. That's $15 a month. To score this deal, go to evaca.tv slash Colorado10. That's E-V-O-C-A dot TV slash Colorado10. No contracts, no catches. Ivaca TV is made for champions of the remote. Thank you, Ivaca TV, for sponsoring us. We super appreciate it. They are the homies. Thank you very much. Um, okay, Nashville. Nashville. Philly's done. I don't. I don't even really want to talk about Philly. What's to talk about? Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, we kind of covered it all. There was effort in some <laughs> players. There was no effort in some players, and they still lost six zero in the rough. You also, Danny That's Wilson got hurt. Uh, Prizo might be hurt. Uh, we were talking about this, man. Like we were talking about, like if you if you if you join us for the watch alongs, we'll go into a lot of more of our thoughts, yeah, transfer wise, and just kind of what we think. It's a little bit more of a relaxed conversation, but this team needs depth, heavy depth, man. Like especially with more games coming. Up. Injuries really, 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 really hurt the season in terms of the depth thing, right? Yeah. Like, like if you have Galvan and Kada and Jack Price. Like those three right there alone, that's one extra piece at every level of the field that I think can at least hold serve, if not be above average to good, right? No, like Jack Price yeah. is great. Galvan has very high potential. Kata, a little bit of a wild card, but can definitely at least be the third or fourth center back, right? Like the thing with Kata, man, we even talked about it. It's like it's hard to look at Kata as sure. a viable option sure. because Frazier has proven that the young kids don't mm -hmm. play often in long periods of stretches. And he also but hasn't it, been here. Yeah, exactly. So it's just kind of hard for... He hadn't sold his place yet in Columbus, so you get hurt. You hadn't well uprooted stay, everything. Yeah. You just stay in your house and recover from your ACL, right? But um, 
I don't know if it's 20 points, B-Ray, but I bet you those two Houston games are wins. Well, I bet you that's Seattle game to I kind win. Of believe, I believe B-Ray because if he did the math right, they've dropped 50 points in in the game they should have won. Now, you go out and you steal a couple, maybe draw one that you should have lost, that you actually lost. Maybe I think like you that see Dallas yeah. game or something. It might yeah. be 20 points. Like It might be close to 20. 20 is a lot. 20 is a lot. I also think that gives this team a lot of credit because I do think those points that they dropped are reflective of the level of play so far the season two, right? So, so you can say perfect world. Yeah, we probably did, but this, that's how the team plays, right? Like, like, unfortunately the mental mistakes and stuff are going to catch up. And at a certain point, you know, you are who you are. So I don't, you know, I don't like, yes, points were dropped, but how many of those, like you replay them all, you probably still drop a good amount of those. Cause that's just yeah. how, the, you know, that's how the season's been. Right. But if so, you're going to give the argument that these players make a difference, yeah. they would make a difference this year. Oh, too. sure, sure, sure. So I just like, mean, I, I just mean like the dropping I, points part specifically. I do think having those three changes the season drastically, exactly. drastically, it's, especially because like they were up late in that Houston game. It could have been both. They could have won both of them. They were up late. They could have won. It, it, like right up to the 90th minute, yeah. I mean, 87th in one or 89th and 90 plus five in the other. Exactly. So, like, I'll count those two. Let's Charlotte draw at home. That's the, that's, oh. Yeah. God. Austin and Charlotte at home are another two that they should have won. Cause yep. They were up 2 0 in Austin. Yep. So that's, yep. that's four points plus another six points. Yep. That's 10 right there. Then I'm not counting San Jose and SKC because those are still wild cards. There was no obvious reason they should have won that. Could, yeah. Road games. To make yeah. it fair. Yeah. And then if you add the, um, if you add the, what's it called? The Seattle game, that's another three points. That's yep. that's about 13 points. Yeah. That if these players are yeah. playing, I believe they have. Yeah. So and so say, you know, because you can't just assume that if you replay it, you get all those points. So say yeah. half. So you have six points out of those. You're yeah. not as worried about this Nashville game. Now, now that's Nashville true. is the game. And let's let's break this down, right? Like, like you you saw everyone that isn't gonna play, right? Hopefully, some of them will play, but I mean, you're 11. If I had to, if I had to guess what the 11 is, right? So you know, there's no Gus. And if Wilson is hurt, let's just take him out. Let's take Jack Price out, right? So no, those guys are out. Yarby, obviously. I think we should take out Preso too, right? I would guess so. Yeah. Let's just so, take him out to be fair. So let's yeah. say it's going to be Yarby. You're going to probably get a Lawless Keegan center back duo. Would be my guess. With Lucas and Beta. That's my. That would be my best guess. Okay. Would you say? Fair on that one? I think fair, but we did have the discussion of maybe more getting the time as yeah. well. So that oh, was yeah, kind of more more and push Keegan out. Either way, I'm fine with that. I don't know if I want more playing. You know, you probably saw him out 45, 60 minutes at the most. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, so that's a, a possibility, yeah. but yeah. I can see that line of things. Midfield is no 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 doubt in my mind. Warner, Felipe, and Acosta. And oh sorry, Acosta, Felipe, Rubio. Boom, yes. boom, boom. Right? Right? Michael if Michael Edwards was going to break out, he would have broken out by now. Yeah. Sorry. It's I don't think that one's happening. That <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's happening. Guy, I mean, is he bench eligible? I think so. I think he's a Rapids guy. He might be on the bench, but yeah. I don't see him getting any minutes unless something weird happens. Um, yeah, I don't and know then, if they're still in Vancouver or not. They right. And then up top, for sure, no doubt, you start Luis Barrios Zardes. Right? So, so that's your 11. Right? And, and that is your best chance at points, no doubt, right? Like that is – if that's the 11 that you start, barring the injuries and the suspensions, then yeah, like that's – you you have no – like you put all your cards on the table, man. You call it all in. You bet, Like you have to win. You have to go get three points. You have to go get your second road win of the season. No pressure. No oh, pressure. Tough. Yeah, dude. <laughs> It's just Jesus. so tough because it's also like now what what is your bench? If you have nobody there, you're gonna kill them legs. Warner and then you got a game on Sunday. More well, yeah, exactly. Like Mayaka is Mayaka gonna get time? He did have a you know, he had a nice play in the Rapids two game last time out, but yeah. Like that's what I'm talking. What is your bench now? Like you got more more Kinich, which was horrible this game, by the yeah, way. Yeah, more was he but but to be fair. Effort was there, yeah, but like, he's a little. To do with he was a little he was, over his skis in this one, I would say. Yeah, he he had the dog. Yeah. He was trying to make a difference. He just didn't make a difference. 
he was actually a negative in a lot of times. A lot of these. I guys. wish I wish they could call upon you, but I don't think he's eligible. Panya, Robinson, Aguirre. Yeah, I wish. Both Aguirre of them actually has been training with the first team here and there, so he has only. So B Ray, two. yes. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um. Yeah, shout out, her, shout out his mom, by the way. Yeah, I didn't see defense. that, but yeah, someone said died. someone tagged me in that, um, or send it just DM me or something. Um, B Ray says we win three points at Nash and three at DC, six points out of nine. Are you good? Yes. Oh, and yeah, we broke this down with Joseph on Thursday. We didn't need the Philly points, right? Like, like well, we, it was needed, just not po- probably not going to happen. It. I guess you're right. The roadmap that we came up with these, the best case scenario for the 15 points that you need to finish the season. The roadmap did not include points in Philly, right? But it also didn't include a red card to a key depth piece. It didn't include getting just absolutely housed. It didn't include two injuries. It like, you know what I mean? Like there were the margin for error was thin and it got even thinner now. Right. So you get those. It literally like, I don't even want to think about DC or galaxy or, Vancouver at home or starting, Dallas at home because are taking it one game at a it's time. It's literally right? Nashville. It's yeah. Nashville. Like that, it's it. It's Nashville. Like it is Nashville, Nashville. And if you're thinking about other games, you're getting way too far ahead of yourself. It's just, it's so tough. It, it Again, I'm an optimistic Rapids fan. Yes. We did this to help. We Rapids know. Winning Gasolina and exists for a reason. In, in three, in the next two years. <laughs> But it's also like you got to realize that this game wasn't – it felt impossible. We didn't it, – it's not impossible, but it felt that way. With the yeah. lineup they went out there, mm-hmm. the upcoming opponents, mm-hmm. and everything that was going on, and it's still the way it played out, felt yeah. shitty, felt bad. It, it hurt was, my soul. Like, you even survived into the 80-something minute, right? 3-0. Like you played, you played about 40 – about 40 minutes of like pretty good 10 man soccer. Dude, right. I have like, time. I have time. Dude. I put in that bet next uh, second half is going to be a tie before between both teams. And then in eight minutes, they just put it on. They just We're, absolutely put it on. I mean, which all Whatever. respect to the Rapids. Yeah. Staying along with it, so. Absolutely. Look, Philly's the best team in, in, in soccer in, in major league soccer. I think For that's, sure. I think it's them. I think it's Austin. And I think it's LAFC. And I think that's really it. I I'll, put on, I'll put Montreal up there. I'll put Montreal up there. Montreal's dope. And that goal, that free kick goal they had yeah. tonight. I don't know if anyone saw that scrolling through Twitter. I'll but give I'll give Montreal the credit. Was that Quinto that, yeah. that scored that? Man, I think that so. dude is sick. Sick. Montreal, man. They that's that's a that's a really cool team, man. Um but yeah, Philly, whatever. Toss it. Can't be mad at it. I mean, you can't be mad at it because it's still you decided game. that you're not yeah. that that you're not going to take points from it, but that it it's it'll be fine with me. Like it's frustrating me right now, and I was pretty upset earlier, almost on the verge of my first real DNVR Rapids post game rant. Um, but right now, if you go and get those three points, I'm going to be <laughs> standing up, right? Like I will be singing your praises right here on this post game show on Wednesday. Right, like if you if you call your shot and go go get it, right? I mean, it'll be the game of the year. Three, if they get three points here, it is the game of the year. Forget the Red Bulls game, which was just drunk chaos. If you come out with your game plan, with with the eleven that we just laid out, and you really go and put it on them, right? Like, it's, it's game of the year. There's two things that you gotta hope for this game on Wednesday, and it's no injuries and a dub. Those are the two things that you gotta make sure and then you all like you, it was a bad nice that we, up, you know is it's it bad nice that we to, didn't say max uh, no i i mean he's on the bench they're gonna use him as a deaf beef but wouldn't it be guys, nice for him to get his first goal of the season in this in this game <laughs> but oh it's just so hard because i'm trying to think who else would be on the bench like, you need him as the bench it's him and yappy and and more and Clint. And Clint, Mark maybe Kimmich. Clint can play center back. Like, <laughs> Rada, I'm guessing it's also on the, maybe. Like, I don't know. Like, oh boy, like, what if, what are the chances they just go with the three back and they put what about Wallace in the middle, Keegan and uh, Lucas, and they're like, 
Go at it, boys. We're winning this game. And so you just start Warner and Prezo if he's healthy too. Yeah, you just start <laughs> right? Warner Prezo. Yeah, and, and just kind of play like a three, two. two. It, would, it would be like a three, one, like two, a three, one with two wingers and then a striker. And then Warner would be like the second uh, center back. Why not? Dropping back and then pushing like, forward. Whatever pushing, wins yeah. this game, dude. He'd be a box to box. But even then, that's like an insane lineup if you think about it. It's like, crazy. It's. Like, uh, it, I think you have to go for you have to yeah. do this for it's like a what? It's like a four, it's a four three three, but the diamond is up, right? Like it's a yeah. weird diamond. It's not really a four, like I don't know how to describe it because <laughs> the diamond's an attack. No center bag, just oh five five. Let's go. Five five. I dig. I dig. Why not? No. Let no, Yarby do everything. No, no, no. <laughs> Dude, this you you've seen when this team puts out its best lineups, you've seen when this team plays its best ball. Right. And it's when those four are up top, when you have some decent midfield play and that back four communicates then. And, and I just, it's just so frustrating that you're saying that no matter what, you're going to go get a road win and I can't get past it. And I know I already said this point, but like, how do you call, how do you call your shot like that? Like it's, it, my thing is, is that smart or is that desperation? No. That's my thing. Like, is it desperation that you just yes. need those plays against the West? Or is it, like, smart because you're playing the West? It's just, again, I'm not for it, it. This, to me, is not a knock on anybody in that organization. No. I just want to know the reasoning behind it. Why are you choosing these? Like, I get it's the West, but what does that matter? Like, you Holy need hell, hell, yeah. points. You need points. The, Points matter in every situation, not just in, when you play the West. And you remember, I said, I remember you, there. I remember you, me, and Joseph were on this show right here in April. And I was pissed because we just dropped points. And I, and, and, and we were like, no, it's fine. The playoffs are going to be fine. And I'm like, all these points count the same. And I said that probably three straight weeks during one of those slumps early in the season. And I was like, all these points count the same. It doesn't matter if it's April. It doesn't matter if it's March. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's May. That that three points or one point is the exact same three points or one point they're fighting for right now. And it's just so frustrating that this team, I mean, good for them. I mean, I guess it's the mindset you want them to have, but it's also insane to think that like, nope, we're going to go get three points. Forget this one. Like, it's just like, it's insane. It's insane. I feel like I'm crazy. Hard to understand. Like it's not hard to understand. I see where they're coming from, but it's like, what makes you think that not getting a point in Philly is not as valuable as getting three points in Nashville? Because if you beat Nashville, that's a six-point swing, dope. But why not make it a seven-point swing? Yes. Why not? Why not make it a nine-point swing? Like, just go all out, dude. Like it's just so difficult like it's not difficult to understand i keep saying that but it's just it's frustrating because i don't know the reasoning and i don't know what they know and as a fan i'm looking out i'm looking as a fan a reporter and a person that does this podcast i'm looking out in and i'm like why what's the point to all of this how do you fix this and i'm just not getting answers and that's the frustrating part of it it has nothing to do with that they're dumb or they don't know what they're doing. It's just like, why? What What are you thinking when you're doing this? I just want to, I just want an answer of why. It's, again, I just want to know what's going on. I get it six points against the West. But why bring out the, the five back again when it's been so bad? We've all seen what's it doesn't so crazy, work. What's so crazy to me is that five back at the start, we were like, man, Frazier really has got this five back thing down. This five two three is playing great. Remember that? Like we were talking about that. That was like a major talking point in March and April. It was like this five two three, man, it really works. This is really great. And then it just fell off a freaking cliff. It fell off when Trusty decided to stop playing. That's a good point. That's when it fell off. It works when you have three really good defenders. Ah man. But when what one of them doesn't season. want to play, I like forgot about Trusty. <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? When oh, wait, uh, no. Twitter cares about Trusty all of a sudden because he's playing in England. Yeah, dude, that's USMNT Twitter. That's <sighs> why you don't trust USMNT Twitter. 
Yeah, but Joseph, the drop off from trusty this season to Viacy is not substantial. <laughs> Man, yeah, what a yeah, bummer, peak, dude! What a his, bummer. At his peak, if we got last year's trusty this year, we wouldn't even be we'd be more talking about positioning in the playoffs and not scrambling to survive. I will say, man, the start of the season was rough. It was terrible. Outside of those two home wins, it was terrible. They got six from their first nine, and it was all peaches, man. It was all peaches. It's it's just so sad, man. Because this team is good. We all this seems really good. And I said it on the I said it on the the watch along today. I think this is one of those seasons where it's like you run this simulation hundred times, thousand times. This is one of the worst ones. Like this is hands down one of the worst possible seasons. Jack Price has a hamstring, a calf, and a chest injury. Right? Mikey B just all of a sudden forgets how to find the goal. Right? Like Wallace Abubakar is the third highest scoring player on this team. That's not surprising, but it's like that's whatever. Like the high those high like Lala's being No, I just mean there's no goals. They don't score goals. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, like what that's officially that's as of right now. Though. Officially, as of this game that just happened, Philly has scored six goals as many times as the Rapids have scored three or more. Three, three goals, three or more, four times all season. Four, four, four games. So what can we take from Philly and be like, this is what you do for the Rapids? <laughs> Besides I, talent wise, tactic wise, what did he see that I'm like, oh, the Rapids should implement that? I have one thing right off the bat, which is like play the four back. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I mean, play the four back. But man, here's the thing: is those they they're they're attacking three runs so well together, right? Like there's no catch up from the other side. Like those three are immediate options, and they just they they know their lane so well. Like they, they, it's like the that three is the way I wish Barrios, Lewis, and Zardes play because you see flashes of it, but you do not get it nearly as consistently. They, they just, they haul ass and they do it so well together and their passing at full speed is something that that the Rapids have been missing. And that's been the biggest problem with Lewis and Barrios, at least to start the season, um, was their passing, right? Was their crosses, was their all this stuff. And meanwhile, you have this Philly team who just plays at an absolutely breakneck pace and just dimes, just dimes all over. Perfect passes, sets them up in, in stride. It is, it's beautiful to watch and it's the reason they're almost plus 40 on the season in goal differential. See, pull that up. I don't want to read it, but pull it up. I'll read it. Uh, let me see which ones. B Ray, twenty games we've scored one or less. Twenty. That is almost as bad as only scoring three or more four times. Almost, but it's not. And <sighs> again, um, I still think this team is good. I stand by my like yeah. the Rapids are going to win a title in the next three years. I I think it's an MLS Cup, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's in a U.S. Open Cup or That'd be something so else sick. like that. I want a cup. So but I it's want a, still, a, a season long tourney cup like that. But it's be still so like it's still like it sucks in the moment. This team is good. This team is so good. And it just sucks when you don't when you don't get the results. Like and I, I do believe that whole belief they believe somebody when they show you who they are and they've shown us they're bad. But the thing is they're but you've not also, always yeah. bad. They you've have shown us a lot too. of greatness. Yeah, they have these things. That bring a presence that not every team has, which is really rare. They they just needed that. It just everything feels like has gone really wrong for the Rapids. They need to and upgrade center back. Yeah, and I'm field. not apologizing for them either. Like, yeah, there's not an apology spot. They have to be better. Like, everybody's gonna go through mistakes. Everybody's gonna go through injuries. But you, as a team, you have to overcome them, and they just have it. But that doesn't take away from how good they are. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, I think if you look positionally, right, your outside backs were really good this year. I think Lucas could have had a better season, you know? Like, I don't think it was his best. But, I mean, he brought that dog. He's super fast. Like, he really helped work those wings. I think, you know, and then you talk about the wings up top. I think, you know, I think your outside backs and your attacking on the wings were great this season. They didn't produce like you want them to, right? I think a combined five goals from Lewis and and Barrios is not enough, right? That needs to be eight, nine, ten combined probably you know 10 i think would be the mark you'd want there especially when you factor in the zero from nicholson right torre has one right so combined your four wingers combined 
six goal, six goals, right? Um, it's tough. It's tough. I mean, it's your defenders a- have as many goals as your wingers. It's brutal, man. And again, <laughs> I I was the first person to uh, bag on Jay Lou. Like you know me, I was he turned it around though. He really yeah, did. Like, He's been great. Yeah, and the thing is, like, as soon as he turned it around, I'm like, yo, shut me up, dope dude. Thank you. I Absolutely. appreciate that. Like, I'm not one to hold grudges against these players because I can no. judge them for being bad. That's part of my. I can critique them. Yep. But I can also be critiqued when I'm shut up, and I can admit when I'm shut up. Yep. Yep. But just because he's been better and he's been communi- doing ex- things I need to do mm-hmm. to improve, mm-hmm. doesn't mean that he's been producing like he should. He should yeah. be on the score sheet a lot more. Yep. Compared to like how good he's been. And yeah. It's kind of Lewis like, and Mikey both. Honestly, yeah. they need to be better. They and 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 then that was where the, this team failed. And and Galvan being out too, like that really. Like really, really hurt this team, man. Like, like, and then and then center back, man. And I love Wallace. I'm such a Wallace guy. He's been he's had such good highs this season, right? Like when he when Wallace has been on, he's been so good. But man, Danny, I just I can't point to a game where I was like, man, that Danny Wilson really took over that game. I think he's like I one can. or two. But. There's a few of them out there, but I just don't remember. But I remember <laughs> looking at there's a. There's, I remember us looking at him and be like, yeah, Danny Wilson, this is why you keep him around. I think yeah, I mean, I think he had those, maybe one or two games that were positives, yeah. a bunch that were neutral or worse. But Yeah, and and uh, I think the other one, I think it was the Austin game when we thought that too. Yeah. That Austin uh, game where Joseph, he showed up. Sorry. Sorry. Joseph, to answer your question, yes, I absolutely would. And I know he didn't produce this year, but man, yeah. when, when Mikey, Lewis, Rubio, Zardis, and I've said it over and over. That four is sick when it clicks. And I think, again, you simulate this over and over and over and over again, you're going to get a, like, it's better outcomes. Like, they're like, I guarantee you roll that four out next season. They score so much more. It's such a higher scoring team. They just were at, it was the absolute worst possible outcome all season. I, well, yeah, Galvan would yeah. start. I just need the depth. It, it, it's an option, man. Like, just yeah. control what you can control. Don't have to go add another piece. Lock that in. Galvan comes back. You can start Galvan over Barrios. Um, and not just that, man. Like, how you saying depth? Like, Yaya out? Like, if Yaya would have Yeah, Yaya's out all Yaya season been, Yeah, if yeah. Yaya would have been healthy, I would have I would have maybe not exercised the option, used that money in that spot for another position, and then have Yaya be that fourth winger coming off with Nicholson and Johnny and uh, who else was it? And Galvan. That's yeah. what I was done. Yep. But with with uh, Yaya just, out, you kind of need that man. depth. You need, yeah, you need you need him out there for sure. Yeah, I I just think you can control that. So do it. And there's already there's already things that you need to overhaul. So, you know, like Felipe is going to be gone, um, unless you can work something out with Catolicas. Um, you know, you need midfield depth. You you know you need to address that center back position. Like you know you need to. You cannot go into if you start next season with this same group of center backs, it's it's bad news bears. Like And I'm just, gonna tell you something. We've we've talked to people in the organization. This is not news to them. They all know no, this. They know. Yeah, they, they know. all know this. Yeah. Like this is for like me and Mitch know they know this. Like yeah. we're letting you guys know. They know this. Like these are things that everybody can see. I mean, it's their not job. just us, <laughs> yeah. like the national people can too. Yeah, like we all see this. Like we all know this. Like it's yeah. not a surprise to anybody. All right, let's let's end it like this. Let's end it like this. Do you have any Yasolina for us? Uh, yeah, man. There's a lot of Yasolina. Like, bring some Yasolina. One... Let's end it on some Yasolina, man. The, the Drop Yasolina, your Yasolina in the chat if you got it. The Yasolina is that this team has heart. Even when they were down, everything was going the other way. Yeah, they were a little upset. I would be too. Like we were upset as as people watching the game, but they didn't give up. Most of this team still showed heart. They played hard. They had effort. It, it's maybe not what you wanted to see, but it's definitely it's definitely encouraging to know that this team, most of these players, would die for this badge figuratively, of course. Yeah, of that course. That they're here for the team and they're here for each other. You can tell that even when things got bad. Nobody was looking at each other and blaming each other, and that's something you gotta appreciate. The this team holds each yeah. other accountable, and that's yeah, very right. important. And you're that right. sort of attitude and that sort of presence, it's what makes me believe that this team is gonna win a cup in the next three years. That's the key thing to every team. They have yeah. talent, it's injured, sucks, it sucks for everybody, but they're there, they're not far away. They 
got yep. the grit. They got that X factor. They just need to put it together. There's some dog and, out there for sure. And that's kind of what you just got to focus on. Like, this team yeah. is still good. This team has it, but they're going to be fine. This, yeah. this, this is not the year. It's just not. It's fine. It's what it is. But you just kind of have to keep going. My Yasalina, my Michelina, Merchelina. What is mine? What do you call mine? Merchelina? Uh, I think it's Merchelina. Whatever it is. Diego Rubio is going to have a brace on Wednesday. And he's going to be that much closer to the club record for goals. So there's that. I think they get a draw. No, I don't. I don't. I think it's, I don't, I don't know, dude. I can't. I'm, I want to be so positive going into this because I do see the best version, right? Like, and they're banking on it and I want them to be successful calling their shot. Right. Like I want, like more than anything, they, they said we're going into Nashville and we're winning and God, I want them to do it so bad. So what, you know what? Three, two kids win in nashville bang bang a rang how about that yeah yeah how about i think it's that? a one no victory they get their first shot one oh roadie yeah, shot no. out dude I for yards shut out i don't know if there's i don't know if it is their first one it is for sure on the road but i think it's a, a roadie shot i think yarborough deserves a shot out on the road <laughs> Yeah, dude. He's worked his ass off. I feel, dude, he the, really has. the person I feel the worst for in this game is Yarv, man. Yarv yeah. did everything he could. He could have given honest, up. That wasn't was a 6 0 game if, if you just look at how Yarv played. But. Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, make sure you uh, actually you can go ahead and plug away first. No, um, as always, guys, uh, give us a five star review on Apple and any or anywhere, anywhere else you hear this pod. It really helps us grow. I love that so much that. We are getting some reviews, but if you keep listening, just give us, just let us know. Hey, like I like what you're doing. If you don't want to give us a five star review, don't give us a review. Yeah, keep your opinion to yourself. Three star shit can kick rocks. But five stars um, only. I really, we really enjoyed the watch along. Go take a look at that if you enjoy. It, let us know. We'll keep doing those along as the season goes on. Yeah, yeah that was really fun. And um, just follow the NBR Rapids account. Go follow us. Uh, let us Please. know. Let us know what you want to hear from us. Let us know. What's going to help you? Uh, what kind of guests you want on and which sponsors you want, uh, want, uh, which sponsors you want us to be part of too. We'll get sponsors if you guys tell us, like, we'll go find some more. So, no, we're going to have some. I've been in, I've been, I've been hustling. Um, you know, we might have some, there's potential for some beverage sponsors, perhaps, because we like beverages. We're a beverage based podcast. Um, it's not Diet Coke, though, unfortunately. Um, okay, guys. DNVR Sports YouTube page. Subscribe to it if you haven't, man. You'll get notifications when we come in, when our show's coming up. Um, you know, like when we go live, emergency pod, whatever, it'll just pop up. Um, so please, it really goes a long way. And hit that little thumbs up down there. Um, and he already said it. Hit the reviews. But get your up the pids scarf, man, because it's up the pids always. Drop that in the chat. You know it's coming right here. Um, follow us on Twitter, please. Um, B Ray DNVR Bar opens. Uh, grand opening will be over Labor Day weekend. Um, specifically to cap off that opening will be Broncos, Seahawks, Monday Night Football. That will be the big, big night cap right? on a grand opening weekend. Um, but we got college football Saturday. Sunday we got NFL. And it's going to be full go, baby. It's going to be lit down there. So come check it out, man. Um, more important than all that, even after a game like this, man. <laughs> Even after a game like this, baby. Up the pits.